How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to set advanced parental controls for your Kindle Fire HD. Now uh, we're going to be using a feature of the Kindle that's called Kindle Free Time. If you go to Apps and then you go to Free Time, it won't always be first, but it'll be somewhere in this list. So just find it. Tap on Free Time. This is. Um, such an awesome new feature that they've added to the Kindle Fire HD and it actually allows you to set very strict uh, controls on what your kids are allowed to see. It actually lets you set up specific profiles for your different kids and you can actually say I only want them to be able to see these apps I only want them to be able to look at these videos or these books you can actually set time limits on how much time they play apps and how much time they read or do other things like that so let me go ahead and kind of break it down for you but um, you're gonna really love this it's gonna make your life a lot easier you'll be able to hand this to a kid and not have to worry about them wandering or doing the wrong stuff because this app totally monitors it for you so we're gonna go ahead and hit next you're gonna uh, put in your parental control password if you don't have one then usually it'll let you set one right here Minus zero 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 zero. Make sure it's something good. So let's tap in um, uh, Matt. Okay, and let's set a picture. So Matt's a dinosaur boy, and let's put in a birthday. Let's say here. Let's say July tenth, two thousand ten. Okay, set it, and you can go add another child. You can have multiple kids. Now let's do a girl. I'm not sure how many profiles you can have on there. I have to look that up, but I'm sure you could probably put a whole lot on there. Let's put a princess. And let's put Amy. Might be spelled wrong. Okay. Girl. Birthday. Here we go. There's Amy. She's younger. Now we're going to go next. Okay. So now we have our two profiles right here. So we have Amy and we have Matt. And so. Amy's younger. Amy's only one. So what we're going to do is the first thing you want to do is you want to hit under manage content hit plus and it's going to ask you to put your code in. And so here you have the option to you're going to add titles to Amy's library. Go ahead and tap on that. So you have a couple of books on here but you don't really have any children's books so you don't want to pick a book. Now it actually will come with a couple of children's books, and I'll show you those in a second, but for now, we're not going to add any books, okay? What you're going to do, however, though, is, you know, Amy likes Angry Birds. So you're going to actually go to Apps, and you can actually go through and say, I only want her to be able to play this game or that game. So, for example, for her, maybe you'll say, I only want her to be able to play Bubble Shoot. So we'll check that box, and then under Videos... Well, I don't really want, want her watching that show. But um, if you did, you would just check the box. But for now, we're going to just set that one app. In fact, let's find one more. I want her to be able to... I don't know. Let's see. I don't have a lot of games on here. But, okay. Garfield's Diner. Another cool one. Um, Word Snacker. Okay. Three apps that she can play. Hit Save. Amy's done. Let's do Matt. Matt's a little bit older now. So under books, you want him to be able to read As a Man Thinketh. You want him to be able to read um, The DNA Relationships. Cool. Under videos, he's okay to watch that. We'll check that box. And under apps, let's see. We can go Hangman, Bowling, Halloween Mahjong, you know, as you can see, whatever is not checked, they won't even have access to. That's the awesome part. Do some brain teasers and fruit fling. Okay? Now we're going to hit save. And now his profile, you've added some more content to it. Now we'll go back. Okay? And so, now let's tap on Amy's profile. and Let's see what that looks like. Okay? So under books, it does come with a couple of books on here already. So these are free, and these are obviously books I haven't downloaded, but they're already on here. So if you want them to read this, all you have to do is just tap on that one book. So let's tap on Sylvester and Tweety, and it's going to start downloading it, okay? We go to videos. 
guess what? We haven't added any videos for her, so there's none in here for her to watch. Apps. We go to apps. There are these uh, six games. Now, we added these three, Bubble Shoot, Garfield's Diner, and Word Snacker, and these three actually come on it already. So that's pretty cool. These three are actually here already. So you just tap on the app, and it's going to download it. And basically, it's going to download these apps into, again, her little section. Okay? So remember, she only has access to this. If she tries to go home, this is the only place it's going to take her. It won't take her any further. If she goes to favorites, it's only going to be her favorites. And that's it. So if she tries to pull the menu down and say, well, I, I want to get out of this. Parent settings, guess what? Has to have the password. So it's totally secure. You don't have to worry about them wandering or getting to somewhere they're not supposed to be. So, now let's go out and let's see what Matt's profile looks like. We're going to pull that menu down. We're going to exit, or actually we're going to go parent settings, put in our code. And now, it's going to come back to our other section where our profiles are. Now we're going to go to Matt. Now remember, Matt's a little bit older, so we actually gave him a couple more things. We gave him a couple of books. So he has the two books that we assigned to him, and then we can download Space Adventures for him. And we also can download these other two if we want. We go to videos. Guess what? We said he could watch Family Matters. So there's that TV show. And if he taps on it, he can actually see that specific episode. Go back again. Go to apps. Remember, we gave him more apps. We gave him the more older apps. So Halloween, Mahjong, uh, uh, Hangman Free, Bowling. And then these are the free ones that come with it. So, again, it's very restrictive, and you control what they can see because you have to pick it for them. If you haven't picked it, they can't look at it. So, we're done with Matt, and let's say we want to get out of this. We want to go to Parent Settings, and again, we have to put that code in. It'll literally launch that, that prompt for the code every time you're trying to get out of a section that you've put them in. So, all right. Here's another really cool feature. This is called daily time limits. Now, when you set a daily time limit, you can actually set how much time that they're allowed to do specific things. So let's pick uh, Matt, and we're going to turn on set time limits, okay? So at the top here, this is their total screen time, okay? So let's say you say, all right, you have an hour to play on your Kindle, okay? After an hour, it's going to shut off. They're not going to be able to play on it anymore. We can set it for 30 minutes, an hour, all the way up to six hours. So you can you can even not be home, and you can still set it and say, you know what? Today you only get 15 minutes. Tomorrow you only get hour and 15 minutes. Totally up to you how you want to set that. Okay? Now we come down here. So here's the thing. You have two options. You can either set a screen time. You can say you have a max of one hour to do whatever you want. Or you can come down here and say, you know what, I want to make it a little bit different. You can you can read as much as you want, so reading is unlimited, or we can set a certain amount of time for reading. Watching videos, you can say, well, you can only watch a video for an hour or half an hour. And then for using apps, you can only use apps for 15 minutes. Or you can totally block the apps out. So even in this section, you can still say, tell you what, today you're in trouble and you can't play with apps. You can totally block out the apps. And make it so they can only read or only watch videos. So that's totally up to you. Look right now, we blocked videos and apps and they can only look at, uh, basically read. So it's up to you how you want to set it. You can do screen time or you can set it for specific activities. Okay. Now let's go back here. And it shows you reading unlimited. Watching videos is blocked. Using apps is blocked. Okay. And there's no nothing set for Amy right here. Okay. Let me show you a couple of the last things and then we're going to be about done here. There is more. If we go to more, put in our passcode. So this is kind of just a general overview type of thing. So you can manage the profiles or make changes. You can set your daily time limits in here. You can, your Kindle Fire settings, you can go ahead and tweak those. Um, change your parental control password. Now remember to change this, you will have to have the original password to change it first. So don't worry about them getting in there and then also help if you have questions. So that's about it. And when you're finished, let's say they've handed the Kindle back to you, they're tired, you put them to bed, and now you want to use it because you want to read your stuff for look at your own things. You can go ahead and exit 
and guess what? You are out and you're done. Now what I recommend you do if you're going to have your kids using it a lot is uh, once you have Kindle free time on the front, hold down on it and add it to a favorite. So when you're about to hand it to them, all you have to do is tap the star in the corner and go to free time then it's automatically going to take you right to here and you can just tap their profile hand it to them and they're done so this has been again advanced portal control settings or um kindle fire free time and um this is probably the most advanced portal control system that's on the market right now in terms of tablets so it gives you a lot of control where this tablet could be yours but your kids could also have fun with it and this is the way literally in about five or ten minutes you can totally customize it to the things you want them to be able to see and not have to worry about them wandering on the wrong thing or them again surfing the web or YouTube or whatever you have total control right here okay so hope you found this helpful make sure you like the video if you did subscribe to H2 Tech videos and keep watching alright have a good one